Hey, what is up, Scorpio? Okay, this is going to be your love reading for March 2023. Um, what's coming close to you, what's next, what you can expect. So we're going to take a look at your love reading for March. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity if it doesn't. Okay, let's get into this, Scorpio. Spirit, give me a message for Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising. Venus. All placements. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you're... The, you may have someone who's thinking about you. You may have some kind of choice to make in a situation. The Chariot, wow, and the Ten of Cups, interesting, the Six of Cups, the King, excuse me, the Emperor, the Fool, and the Justice card. Scorpio, I feel like you've had a raw deal for the last couple of readings. And I really feel like there's someone who's trying to come in from the past who is actively trying, okay? Um, someone who is trying to get your attention. They want to set things right. They want this new beginning. They want you to move forward with them, okay? Um, I feel like if, if they feel like if they can make things right, that... You and them can be very happy together. There can be some kind of happy ending with you and this person, okay? Uh, this person may be an Aries. Um, they may be a Cancer. They, you know, there may be Libra energy here. Um, but I feel like, you know, this person is very persistent. And they are waiting for you to make some kind of choice on what your next move is going to be, okay? They feel like, you know, they, they're looking at your happiness and their happiness. But I feel like there are a little um, controlling factors in this situation. They, they may be a little authoritative or, you know, controlling. But I feel like they're a very strong personality. Uh, they may also be a very good business wise person okay um, but I feel like they are really looking for some kind of new beginning for you to just have faith in the situation that they're going to set things right you know I feel like that is their total intention is to set things right and for you to have faith in this new beginning okay because I feel like that's exactly what they want is this new beginning with you okay they're looking at you like you are their their wish fulfillment you know you are their wishes come true they see so much value in you scorpio um but i feel like you're hesitating maybe from past issues with this person because i really feel like this may be someone who's trying to come back Okay, this is someone that you already know, that you already think about, that already thinks about you. Okay, and they want you to make this important choice. You know, they want to be recognized and to be noticed by you. Um, very interesting energy. Yeah, they feel like they've been left out in the cold. They feel like you've left them behind, Scorpio. They feel very strongly that, you know, that whatever the situation is, it could work out. But they just have to kind of give you some sort of signs, some sort of communication. I feel like this person really wants to tell you so many things. I feel like they are like just bearing their soul to you in some kind of communication they may be telling you all of their secrets telling you all of their concerns all of their struggles 
you know they're kind of leaning on you as a confidant okay um, but I feel like they're actually giving you more clarity by doing this because you're actually able to get a view of how this person really is you know by their challenges and struggles you know I, I feel like you can get an indication of where this person is going and what energy you might be holding back and the reason why you're holding back this energy okay um, because I feel like you know this person is being very persistent they're not backing down but I feel like you're holding back you still got those wands up you know kind of guarding the way so that this person only has this way in you know you, you're kind of leading them to the path that is the path of entry but I feel like you know this person may not truly notice which way they need to move if that makes any sense okay okay we've got the death card on the bottom so I feel like this person feels like they can truly transform the situation to build this up the way that they feel it should be molded into okay for others of you I feel like this is a new beginning to some sort of ending that occurred um, but I feel like this person is actively changing. They may be changing certain things about them. Um, they're changing certain habits, certain uh, situations, kind of the way they carry themselves in certain situations. Uh, but I feel like this person is actively working on themselves. They're working on transforming into a better person. Okay? That's what I'm getting with that energy. See, we got left out again. They, they definitely feel this energy of being left out, of being um, not wanted, not appreciated. You know, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom. So, they they kind of feel like you know whatever they did that there's no chance for them okay like they they've really done it this time you know um, like you are not gonna forgive them like you're not gonna make a choice to let them back into the situation and I kinda feel like that's what this is this person wants to come home because look look how this chariot is moving towards the full. You know, they're moving towards this new beginning and this justice card wanting to do the right thing. You know, wanting to have that balance, that um, feeling of really having the... Uh, I lost my train of thought here but I, I feel like this person wants to have this good outcome okay um, with this justice card in the full they're looking for this new beginning okay let's get some love cards for this person let's see what's going on what's going on internally what aren't they saying what aren't they saying to you, Scorpio? Okay, they feel like this is a sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. I feel like even if they wronged you in the past, I feel like they're actively building themselves up. They're actively going through changes, trying to build themselves into this better person, this better situation. Um, we also have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept this, the current situation, it will automatically transform. So yeah, I feel like this person, there may have been some trust issues in the past, but I feel like this person wants you to build your trust for them. You know? Um, they're saying that they are becoming a better person. They are becoming 
a better human being, you know. Um, let's see, one more. We have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. You know, and I feel like, you know, with this emperor energy, this person is kind of releasing the control. I feel like they're almost surrendering to the situation. They're surrendering to you making a decision. At the bottom, we have a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay? Um, so I feel like that's what they're anxiously waiting on is this new beginning you know and they feel like this new beginning can be more passionate more giving more you know supportive and solid um because they feel like they're coming to you as a different person than what they left from you if this is someone coming in from the past okay Let's get some cards. What would this person say to Scorpio if they had a chance? What would this person say to Scorpio? What's being left unsaid? Okay. I know I crossed the line with you. They feel like they really did it this time. We both know I'm not the one for you. So, I mean, this person feels like they're not worthy of you. Because you're a good person, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is actively changing. They're trying to become a better person. But there, there's still this underlying self-worth issue with this person. That, you know, maybe they don't have enough. Maybe they can't give enough. Maybe they're not enough. You know? Um, and that's the energy that I'm getting from them. I want to feel that way again. So definitely, I feel like this person really wants to, um, feel what it feels like to be with you, to be near you, you know, that they, they want that feeling again. They want that relationship to where, you know, you they remember how you trusted them or how you nurtured them. You know, they, they remember those feelings. I truly feel this is someone coming back. I remember every detail of that day. So there's one day that particularly sticks out that this person is, is drawn back to. Okay? I wish I had treated you better. You know, it may have something to do with that. Maybe there was some kind of situation to where you and this person really got into some kind of argument, some kind of, you know, uh, situation to where things got really heated. And, you know, they feel a lot of regret. They feel a lot of shame is what I'm getting um, of how they treated you, how they hurt your feelings, your, you know, how they hurt your heart. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, I, I feel like that's that narcissist within them, with that Aries energy. Um, and I feel like, you know, if this is someone coming in from the past, I feel like they knew exactly what they were doing, but they didn't expect to get caught. Okay, that's the situation that I'm getting. But I, I feel like this person is is really trying to let you know that you know they've changed they're not that same person they love you you know um that's the what i'm getting I'm, I'm getting it so strongly that this person is almost begging they're surrendering to you for you to make the right decision to you know let them come back to let them you know be with you to try this situation again. Okay. Um, let's get some love oracles. What's going on with this person? Give me a message. What's going on with this person please? 
Yeah, they feel like they're not enough. They lack the confidence to really feel like they're worthy of you. That that's exactly what I was getting, Scorpio. They they lack the confidence that they're actually enough, that they can provide enough, that they can, you know, uh, hold down things for you, you know, in your time of need. So I, I feel like there's a lot of self issues um, with this person. It may be confidence. It may be that they sabotage themselves. Um, they may feel like when when things are just going right, you know, something tends to go wrong. That sort of situation, okay? Uh, give me another message for this person, please. Tell me about this person. We have a heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. They They actively feel like you are the perfect one. Like you're their perfect mate. You're you're the one, you know. Um, and they're trying very hard to use their key to open their to open your heart. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, we have love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So this person is very attracted to you. They they feel like, you know, I, I feel like with this person there may be times of a lot of affection and then there may be times of a lot of space. That's what I'm getting with this person. But the, and I feel like they're working on those issues. I feel like they have those issues to where they need space because they don't have the confidence to go through the struggles or go through the challenges that they face in a relationship. So they tend to pull back and kind of let things kind of lay where they, where, where they do. And that's where they kind of sabotage things. You know, because they don't nurture a relationship through challenge. They actually, you know, nurture it in good times and then let the dice fall where they may in the challenge times. Okay? But I feel like this person is actively working on this. They're, they're trying to figure things out. They needed time away to kind of process their emotions to deal with certain situations within themselves. So I feel like that was the issue. They just needed some space so that they could actually grow as a person before they truly messed things totally up. Okay? That's what I'm getting. So, whoa, Scorpio. Okay, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. I have all of the March readings uploaded in a playlist. So if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising, your Venus, um, that will give you more clarity on your situation. And Scorpio, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.